So this question starts off by providing this table here. We have Angel Cruz, Terry Smith. There's poll results, 483 versus 320. The question goes on to say the table shows the results of a poll. A total of 803 voters selected at random were asked which candidate they would vote for in the upcoming election. So this are the results from that poll. According to the poll, if 6,424 people vote in the election, okay, so we only selected 803, but there's really 6,424 people, by how many votes would Angel Cruz be expected to win? All right, so we want to use this information to figure out percentages here. So Angel Cruz received 483 votes out of 803. When I go to my calculator, that represents... Let's see, 483 divided by 803, that is 60.15%, basically. So 60.15%, roughly, of the vote. And Terry Smith received 320 out of 803, which should just be the remainder, right? So this should just be 39.85%, of course, because this has to add up to 100%. All right, so now because we actually have 6,424 people, that means we'd expect Angel Cruz or AC to receive 60.15. And maybe, you know, using 60% is probably good enough um, here. But you expect them to receive 60.15% of the 6,424. So on my calculator, that means I'm multiplying 0 0.6015 by... 6424. Let's see what that equals. 6424 times 0.6015. That is 3,864 votes. And we'd expect for Terry Smith, TS, to get the rest, right? So it's basically 6424 minus the 3864, which is 6424 minus, just using my calculator here, 3864 which is 2560. Okay, so the question again, by how many votes would Angel Cruz be expected to win? Well, that should just be the difference between the number of votes we expect Angel Cruz to have and the number of votes we expect Terry Smith to have. So that'd be 3864 minus 2560, which I can do the math quickly here, is 1,304. And therefore our answer here is choice B.